Ahoy, mates. Good morning. Day number six on board Jewel of the Seas. And we're here in Omer, the B in the ABC Islands. Day number six, and look at the water color. It's gorgeous. Kind of drops off there, but up in there, man, what a blue. This is a pretty cool place so far. Do you see some mountains over there? Smaller ones, but they're there. And this is definitely less developed than Aruba. Yeah, it's so cute. I mean, all the buildings are a lot smaller and stuff, and they apparently they don't have public transportation here. Like, it seems a lot chiller than yeah, Aruba. But we're going to uh, get changed and head down, grab a water taxi so we can go to Klein Bonaire. We're gonna take a water taxi. It's gonna drop us off, we think, over there, if you can see where that water's changing color. Uh, that's where we're gonna be snorkeling on the reef. There's a reef over there. And as you can see, there's absolutely no buildings, no facilities, no anything of any kind over on this island. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> Why? Because I can see how dark the water is that the boat is sitting in and that we're gonna be in that water. No, we're gonna be in the pretty blue water. The water we're swimming in should look more like that that light blue and it does look like it's kind of coved off over there as well so not exactly sure where we're going on the island but wherever it is it's supposed to be just magnificent snorkeling on the reef i'm a little nervous because this is the most snorkeling we've ever done before like we've never done like a, the most intense snorkeling we've ever done before so i mean i'm gonna put on my big girl pants and i'm gonna do it and everything and I'm excited to do it. I'm just, uh, just a little nervous. I want to take this pirate ship over. Oh, and it's like pulling a little boat. The brown pearl. That love is a dinghy. <laughs> Let's go get changed and head over to Klein Bonaire. Okay. One thing we did want to note about Jewel of the Seas, at least on this particular sailing, is that the specialty restaurants haven't been booked very much. Yeah. Anytime we've gone by, there hasn't been a lot of people in there. You guys saw when we were in there, it was far from a full house. Mm -hmm. And what that has caused is the crew to really, really, really push and pedal dining in the specialty restaurants. And not in a room way, no. but just, um, you know, they're just definitely putting effort towards that. Yeah. So if that's something that bothers you, just be prepared for that. So we're back in the room. We're gonna get changed to go out to Bonaire. But I wanted to show you, cause we mentioned yesterday at Aruba, it'll say in your cruise compass where you need to disembark from. It says, for example, today that the gangway will be located deck two forward. So make sure when it says that, use the forward elevators. That's right, if you take uh, the midship or elevators or stairs in the back or whatever, you cannot then transverse deck two to the forward section, you will hit that wall that is a crew area only and you cannot access that any further. So if you wanna go down to deck two forward, that's where the medical facility is as well, you need to go to the forward elevators or stairs and take it down there. Once again, just like Aruba, um, there's no lockers or anything, especially not on the beach that we're there's going to. Nothing. On Klein, there's nothing. There's also on Klein, there's no bathrooms or anything like that, so take care of stuff before you go. Mm -hmm. um, don't take anything that you're not okay leaving on the beach or keeping with you on person. We're gonna have a, a uh, what is it called? Dry bag. Dry bag that you can swim with. So we're going to put like things like our ID and, and everything in that. We're not gonna take our, our good Canon with us because we, even though we have a dry bag, we still don't want to put our camera in it, just in case. And um, we're definitely not going to leave it on the beach, so we're going to switch to the GoPro. We're not going to be able to kind of get off the ship and tour how we got to point A to B like we did yesterday. Um, just because we're not going to be at this port as long. But we'll try to show it as much as we can on the GoPro. Yeah, so to put it in perspective, yesterday in Aruba we were there till 10.30 at night. Mm -hmm. Here it's like 5, 5.30. Yeah. I mean, so it's already 9.45 ship time. We'll show as much as we can on the GoPro and we'll show you how we get from the ship to Klein as best as we can on the GoPro. It's hard because we can't zoom like we can with this camera, but we'll do the best we can do. Oakley doakley, neighbor. <laughs> Sense of preference. So we are off the jewel of the seas, as you can see the background there. Uh, deck two forward, where we told you earlier we got off. So this one was actually really easy. We just scanned and 
literally walked right on this little pier here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a straight shot. It's nice. It's a really short pier. But yeah, this place is really cool so far. You probably can't see it, but right down here, we can definitely see pure fish. Like, the colors are unmistakable. Like, unmistakable. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Man, uh, it's big too. I promise you it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, the water's really clear. Some clouds kind of passing over the sun. When they weren't there, the sun was shining down. I mean, this water clarity is insane. And apparently it's even better over there. So we've got our water taxi tickets now. We used Carib Water Sports. Yeah. Uh, $20 round trip per person. Yeah. And that's so that gets you over to the island and back on like a, like a catamaran or something like that. Because it takes you to Klein. Does it take you to No Name Beach? No Name Beach. Beach. And then what we're going to do is walk up about a five to seven minute walk uh -huh. and snorkel back with the current, which is 30, 35 minutes. What we want to show you is how we set this up. Just turn the square here, and you see all these booths, all this information, and all these different vendors. Now, I'm assuming that these can change location within the days. You know, sometimes it might be different, but the one we used is down here at the end of these booths. So you see they have all kinds of stuff. Water taxi to climb on air, and on air versus tours, epic tours. All this stuff, island tours. So, this last one on the end here with the orange roof or the orange tent, Carib Water Taxi. That's the one that we used. So you just go right there to the booth, pay the cash. I don't know if they take card. They didn't say we we paid cash. They give you the ticket, which is waterproof. So that's nice and smart. And then when you're ready, when the boat's ready, you just come down here, past this little square. You can see the three white pointy tents and then the thatch roof. That's where the boat will pick up. So we'll show you that more in detail when it's here. We, we gotta wait quite a bit. We had just missed it. Water taxi comes every hour, so... I don't know that that was on the hour, though. Right, but it's a it's every hour that it that it came. So we like just missed it. We missed it by like 10 minutes, so we have to wait 50 minutes. Yeah, and it's the same with the pickup. It's an hour, every hour here, every hour over there. Uh, there's no facilities or anything on the island, but they do sell water, sodas, sports drinks, I, I yeah. think she said beer too, on the boat. So when you're over at the island, when the boat comes in, you can purchase drinks then. I saw that there was a few different vendors that like sold water taxis to Klein. I would use Carib just because of how nice the lady who helped us was. Yeah. She was so sweet and so helpful and had such a great attitude. and. I would buy it from her every time just because she was so nice. And the prices were good. They had good reviews online. That's how we know to go look for them, and that held true. So when we get ready to go, we'll show you more of that in detail. But we just wanted to show you how to get from the ship to there, how to purchase it, and get ready. Yeah! There's the street right here in the water. And there's parrotfish and all kinds of other stuff between the street and our ship. <laughs> the amount of things we can see from here is any indication of what we're going to see over there. We're in for a very good day. It's crazy. We've, we've seen like 10 parrotfish so far. Yeah. And we've only seen like maybe two in our whole snorkeling life. So yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. And it's not just parrotfish. I mean, those are the best things. But yeah. there's other fish, some snappers it looks like. We've seen crabs, sea urchins, all kinds of stuff. You can already tell that this is not as much of like a hustle and bustle island. No, it's chill. It's, it's really nice. There's just people, you know, in restaurants. like al fresca you know having their lunch and it's just really calm and chill and i think we're the only ship here today so it, i don't know if it's less busy because of that but it just it's just very calm yeah i like it a lot yeah. back there is where we got off the ship walked across and then we just came straight down the street along the water and there's a dog Aww, he's going for a daddy. swim that's pretty cool see this little uh, a-frame here Sign, water text to climb over, free water sports, and then this is the uh, little kiosk stand there. They check in, they can let, they'll let you sit right here. As long as you don't sit too close to the restaurant, then they kind of want to reserve that for people dining. Yeah. Uh, but they did let us sit there, and the water taxi is almost here. It's the, the little white tent tower looking thing. Yep, 20 That's where tents you go. with the red roof right there. And then you see this yellow stand, and the yellow sign, and the dog swimming. Aww. He's loving it. He's so cute, I don't blame him, it's hot.
so we made it to Clyde Bonaire where it is quite windy. That's our Kareem water taxi that we got on, by the way. Also, this Kareem water taxi did make another stop on the way here over near Cocoa Beach and uh, Eden Beach as well. So there's a dock there they docked at. You can get off there as well, too. And a couple things to note. Number one is that if you forgot your snorkel or you don't have one or what have you, they do rent them, mask and snorkel, for $5 on the boat. You just give them cash and they will get that for you. No fins, but they say you don't really need fins here. But I'm guessing because of the current pushing it back. So that's number one. Number two is when you get dropped off here, you're facing the island, you want to walk down to the left. So this way, there's going to be a yellow pole there. And that marks the end of the area where you're permitted to snorkel. Once you get past that, or any part of the, down that direction, is protected. Protected island, so you can't snorkel there. So we're just going to walk down this beach, down to this yellow pole, and then get in the water and snorkel back. The water color is absolutely gorgeous. I can see the reefs there in the water, the dark spots. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is that it is quite windy today. Not really wavy, but it's, it's a little bit. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. We haven't even gotten in the water yet. I'm in love. Yes. Let's head down and find our yellow pole. And as we come around the bend, we have reached the yellow pole. So this is the point. There. The board. Just a little walk down. Very rocky. Very shelly. Now we've reached the yellow pole. On the beach at all and we've already seen rain coral other kinds of coral uh, several pair of fish some snappers some bigger fish some smaller reef fish everything definitely 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 again have something on your feet and even though they said you don't need fins and i can see what they mean if you're just going to get in and float down uh battling the current getting out and such i would recommend fins personally i like having them you're not going to have those definitely have water shoes though it is crazy rocky out here shelly corals all kinds of stuff you want to protect you.
shallower how deep you are. So right when you get in the water, it's quite warm, but it's very, very, very shallow. And just sand. a good enough view of everything. There's our water taxi right there pulling back in right now. So perfect timing. Just got out of the water, dried off, got her stuff packed up, and here she is to head back. Uh, just so you know, at least for right now, you always want to check with them about the schedule. But the last boat back is at 345 island time. Right. 345 ship time. Yeah. So but again, check with them. Time to head back. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so back on the ship, changed clothes, dried off, showered. We're dry and clean. Yes. Why are we filming in the mirror, you might wonder. There's really no reason I feel like doing it. <laughs> Let's go. But first, this breaking news. I got another magnet. Bon Air. And look, there's Klein, where we snorkeled. And it has a little iguana thing. We didn't get this on film, but 
one of the iguanas tried to bite my toes. I was laying on the beach and I guess he thought my toes were food and he tried to bite them. But they're friendly, they're not scared of people. So just pay mind to that. And now, food time. Yeah. I don't know if we've made mention, but you may be wondering why we haven't eaten in the main dining room yet. And the reason for that is the first two nights we had our specialty dining package. So we're eating there. The rest of the night so far, we just haven't really cared for the main dining menu. We've shown it a few times, um, but we've checked it every day. Maybe after we eat at Windjammers, we'll go check the menu. And it just wasn't stuff that we really wanted. We definitely want to at some point. The menu hasn't been bad or no, anything like that. It just wasn't something that like got us really excited to go. Like lobster. Yeah, like or that. Or primer is. I'll go for that, for sure. A steak. <laughs> something like that. We found a sea turtle as we are preparing to depart from Bonaire and reeling in our mooring lines. I know you can't really see it. He just came up for air. But that dark dot moving through the water right there, that is a sea turtle. All right. It's not quite Bonaire at night because there is still sun in the sky, but... It is transitioning to nighttime. All the lights have come on as we push back from the dock. This is the last we'll see up on air. Single tear. I am really sad that we're leaving. I loved Bonaire. Yes. Everyone was so nice and the water was beautiful and it was so calm. Like this is, this might be my favorite island we've ever visited. Like I could actually see us living here. I liked it so much. Absolutely. And another thing is too, look at how short that pier is. I mean, have you seen Costa Maya's? That mile walk in the sun? That thing is puny. It's so nice and so easy. When we were snorkeling, we did not see a single, not one piece of trash or anything man-made. No. Nothing. And how they they really were instructing us on where to go and like what was allowed to be snorkeled at in order to preserve it and to keep it natural yeah so it, it, it was only a very small portion that we could snorkel which was plenty but it was nice to see that that they're taking care of their their beautiful water <sighs> do we have to go <gasps> let's just skip curacao do well, day two Bonaire. I do want to go to Curacao, but I want to go back to Bonaire. I agree. I think it's just because I I feel so comfortable. I don't feel like I would feel unsafe at all. No. Here. Even small things like when we walked to the market right by the port, no one was hassling you. No one was trying to sell you stuff. No. You could even walk up and look at the stuff and it was just like, hello, you know, and that was it. So everyone's just chill. They just do their own thing. Everyone's friendly. They get along. So it seems like it'd be a great place to live. I think that's why I like it because it's so laid back. and so relaxed and chill. I really like that. Look at it though. I mean, people just going along the little Bayfront street on their scooters and in their cars. Everyone's driving calm. There's no traffic. You see all the lights starting to come on across the island, but not on the mountains. Those are kind of untouched, except right there. It looks like there's a community that extends up into the mountain there, but then that part's untouched, that part's untouched. I don't know how to say goodbye in Bonaire speak. <laughs> it's Dutch. They speak Dutch? Yeah, they were speaking some Dutch. They were speaking Dutch. I don't know how to say goodbye in Dutch. We'll, we'll look that up, and next time we're here, we'll say goodbye properly. That's right. All right, we're on deck five, right next to Tides, and they have photos going on right now. But I wanted to do, as promised, show you the menu for tonight. Here's our list starters. The main courses, we saw the four cheese ravioli. That sounds pretty good. And this is the regular stuff they have every night. Premium selections they have every night that is an extra cost and the desserts. I'm not thinking we're gonna go tonight because we ate a lot at Windjammers and we're kind of full, but we will go at some point. Probably not tonight, but I promise we will go sometime during this cruise. Right, Matt? Yes, even if it's the last night and still nothing sounds good, we will go on general principle. Seal it. 
sign, sail, deliver, I'm yours. I just wanted to show the spot that we're sitting at because we're right next to the next cruise desk. And they're out here singing, right here. And this is where people go, well, let me show you. Oh, I have to stand up, eat. This is where people go and dance, but they're singing right here. And then there's a little table and chairs. And I think it's a really nice spot to sit. I think that's something to note about this ship is that there's a lot of places, like little nooks to sit in where you can get away from everybody else. Like, I mean, we're right here in like the hub watching the nightly performance and we just found a little table right here and it's nice. I like it. Me too. Just played trivia. Just one trivia. Yeah! Back to back champs if you saw our Mariner of the Seas day 4 vlog. That was movie quote trivia. This was movie theme trivia. Yes. Movie theme song trivia. Music from the movie. Yes. Yeah! I'm so excited! Yeah. We got Royal Caribbean. Ten. Uh, there we go. It was really fun. They um they played part of the the clip of the of the song or the music, and then you had to write down the name of the movie. And we didn't film during because they might have the same one on your sailing, and we don't want it to spoil. Yeah. Because it's better if you don't know the answers and you guess on your own. Check your cruise compass every day and see if there's some kind of trivia going on that would maybe like interest you or your family, like something that you guys would like to participate together because it's really fun. So now we're going to head to the casino for a bit and bounce around and not sure what we're going to do after that. I know in like, uh, day, like two and a half hours is uh, adult karaoke. Yeah. And the safari club. So we're definitely going to hit that. Before you go, take a look at our winning ticket! We won! Yes, we did. Yay! Matt, where are we going? To the wind jammer. Or the wing jammer. Apparently they have chicken wings here. We just found out they have chicken wings! We'll see what kind. I hope buffalo. Open sesame! <laughs> Here's the chicken wings. No buffalo. No. no. Okay. Spicy chicken wings. Barbecue. And this just says Barbecue chicken wings. Barbecue. And just chicken wings. But they still look really good. Oh! <gasps> tacos again? I'm having nachos. Do you remember when I talked about this taco bar? <gasps> I don't even care about the wings anymore. It's taco bar night again. He 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 he. Once again. Those nachos were delicious. How are the wings? Fine. This okay. They said spicy. They weren't. They were more sweet than anything. Mm -hmm. They were good though. The buff, uh, barbecue. Eh. Eh. We're gonna run inside to our room, and then we're going to adult karaoke. Yay! Before we go to karaoke, look. I wanted to show you our little towel animal thing. It's like an armadillo or an aardvark or something. It's so cute. I love it. Alrighty, day number six draws to a close in Bonaire. We just wrapped up our adult, our first adult karaoke of the whole cruise, and it was fun. Yes. Like it always is. We don't uh, ever film the karaoke yeah. out of respect to the people doing it, you know. But we thought we'd at least show you the venue. We're in the safari Back again. In the safari lounge again, kind of the multi-purpose do-all venue. And I think it's a really nice venue for karaoke it's very big it's probably the biggest karaoke venue we've been to absolutely on a ship yeah. and it's it, it works really well for it and they have these like very comfortable booths we're a group of five and we um we sat in them and it was really fun yeah the seating in here is comfortable there's lots of it we have departed bon air we're on our way to curacao which is like right there so we're doing like four knots so we're done in bon air we loved it i know i mentioned um this morning that i was a little fearful of klein and the reason why i was fearful is because i've never been snorkeling to where it was a reef and then it dropped off like i'm thinking about like nemo the drop off 
I'll I do the drop off, let's fry them up, serve them with chips or whatever Marlon says. Did I get it right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But I have to say it was not intimidating. I swam over it and it was not bad. I think I was picturing like I was gonna see like just a plummet of black. But it wasn't like that at all. It was bright blue and you could kind of see where the ocean floor gradually, you know, went further and further down. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be, and I definitely don't think that it should be fearful to any of you. Go for it, because it was beautiful and fun, and I really enjoyed it. Well, you know, I agree. I said I'm going out to the drop-off because I want to look for sea turtles and sharks. So. <laughs> he's cautious of ocean life, and he's respectful of the power of ocean life, but he's not fearful at all. And it helps me because you are someone who really doesn't have a lot of fears at all. So except me, except spiders, except spiders. <laughs> I take care of the spiders in the house. He takes care of everything else. But no, but you really don't have a lot of reservations with stuff, and even when I am minorly have reservations, you help pull me into it. You help motivate me. Get out there and, and do, do your job. <laughs> try not to let your fears intimidate you and hold you back. Go out there and try new things and yeah. experience it because yeah. you'll be surprised at what you can see. Now, as far as Curacao is concerned, no plans on the agenda. No. We're just going to venture out and see what the day brings us. Yeah, we're, we're really just winging it tomorrow. Completely. Oh, I'm ready to go to bed. Very tired. Time for bed. Two long days of swimming. Two long, excellent days of swimming. Out in the sun, it'll do it to you. Energy well exerted, but I am ready for a good night's rest. Well, then with that said, I think we're wrapped up here for day number six on Jewel of the Seas. Tomorrow, day number seven in Curacao. So make sure you stick around and we'll see you then. Until that time. Happy travels! Happy travels.